Hello Chinese viewers, I'm DS, a psychologist and welcome to another episode on Channel Need. December has been a really very busy month for myself and I would like to share some of my takeaways when I look back into the last 15 days of December. So one of the things that really happened in December that I really want to share with the viewers is something that I find very important because it seems like a life lesson. So in 2020, when I started this channel with Reporter Ken, I had been doing a lot of psychological work. So there have been psychological profiling, there has also been a lot of lecturing that I'm doing. But all this work has become really cut and I'm almost 99% doing tarot card reading. So it is my main job now. But I always infuse psychology into my work so I can still call myself a psychologist for that. Main point is, every December, I will send goodwill pick a card readings for my clients so by text right i will just pick a card and send them a goodwill message it happens every december so this year is no exception but this year i actually learned quite a lot of things that i really want to share with the viewers it's important now given that i have accumulated a lot of clients my premise is i want to send a goodwill reading to all the clients so in the past there had also been clients who had made a booking but they just did not turn up or they cancelled on the last minute and they never follow up so i have their contact i thought that i will also do a goodwill pick a card reading for them but honestly speaking by now i would have got about 500 to 600 different clients in my database so for many of these clients i have on a very regular yearly basis been sending them so they were all clients and I realized that many of them, right, in 2021 or in 2022, 2023, I have been sending them a goodwill message. It does not get any reply at all. So for these clients, I just send them, it's a one-way kind of uh, traffic. There was no uh, thank you or not even a reply of uh, Merry Christmas to you too. So what actually happens is, I thought that maybe for these people that I have actually been sending and for three years in a row, I do not get any reply from them, I will just drop them because the act of having to pick a card, send a message for so many clients is actually so tedious that I have to spend usually 3 to 4 days completing the entire cycle. I told myself, maybe I would do that in 2024, December, not 2023. I still have the capacity to just send everything. Besides, it's really meant as a goodwill reading. Although traditionally, when I do this, right, I will have actually a spike in sales for the month of December and January because some of the clients, they decided that eh, maybe they will need to see me again. But this year has been a little bit different because I was really hesitant sending a goodwill message to some of the clients. They have not been replying. But the very interesting thing is, right, there are a lot of clients who for three years have not even said a thank you. Suddenly, or out of nowhere, I was like surprised pleasantly surprised that they actually said that they want to see me again. Many of these clients, I don't even remember their looks already. And yes, there's a lot of contact. So even more surprising for myself is that one of these clients who have not even replied for two consecutive years actually sent me $8, thanking me for the card that I have picked for him. So what is the lesson that I've actually learned from this? The important lesson is, as an ENTJ, we are very judgmental and we exercise a lot of projection so if someone were to send me a message i don't reply means i don't want to get to know this person but yet i don't want to block this person so it just left as it is so if somebody had done this to me my personal premise is i will not reply because i'm not interested and i will continue not to be interested so i am projecting my own personal intentions and emotions on other clients i would think that other clients will, will be the same so as individuals, we project all the time. We project ourselves onto other people, thinking that other people will be like us. For an ENTJ, I walk very quickly across the zebra crossing or across the road when I am crossing the road because I do not want to delay other drivers. Why? Because if I'm assuming that I am a driver, I will be irritated if a person is crossing the road very slowly. That's why whenever I cross the road, right, I am thinking on behalf of other people that I should cross fast. So in this case, I'm also projecting. I'm always projecting. And my projection of other people, now I realize, tend to be negative. I'm always assuming because myself, I myself, tends to be an efficient person. I don't like to waste time. So 
I always had this kind of a feeling that other people don't like time wasted and therefore if they do not like a particular person they won't reply but for this year I realized that my own assumptions are not true naturally I think about still a good 25% of my clients did not send any reply again but the more important thing is 75% of the clients did at least send a thank you message so given that I really want to do this out of goodwill I think this is a good outcome already I shouldn't be expecting anything so more importantly I really feel that this is a good episode because I want to tell viewers because most of my viewers would have been INTJs and ENTJs that you might especially ENTJs you might be really projecting your intentions onto other people thinking that other people will behave the same way as you but I think most of the time you might be wrong so my strategy of sending a goodwill message for this year really opened up many doors and I am pleasantly surprised by what I have done for myself because I was actually reluctant to do it now that I think about it from the point of view of the recipient it is really very fun to actually receive a message many of my clients they actually refer one another to me so they know each other they actually got very excited trying to compare which card is actually drawn for which of their friends it's almost as if there is a new topic for me to get them to talk together as a group as well so i do have clients who say oh uh, you haven't sent me a card yet could you do that for me or oh what does this card really mean because somebody else told me that she has another card it seems as if i have also through my actions sparked interactions elsewhere among their own circles you know that kind of thing and that makes me happy sometimes for an entj knowing that you are giving some form of a value knowing that you serve a purpose is enough for the entj so the second takeaway from this episode is if you want to do something just do it and i think the results will come in many different forms that you sometimes may not even expect but they will be pleasant okay at channel need we produce a lot of intj entj videos such as this one i hope that you also enjoy this kind of a life lesson type of videos if you have not already subscribed do consider subscribing so that we can bring you more intj entj and fun stuff okay i'm going to sign off now and i'll see you in our next episode bye bye